Welcome back. We have another type of privileges called the system privileges. With the system privileges, they allow a user to perform database level operations, creating users, creating tables, etc. We can give a write. Let's see connected as Abraham. Let's see if Abraham can create a user. This time we are creating a user for Marvin Tamari. So when you run, you can see that Marvin cannot create a user account. Marvin cannot create a user account because he doesn't have a right to. But if we need him to create user accounts, we can give him the right to do that. You must be connected as an administrator to be able to grant privileges. So once that is done, now he can create users. Marvin, you can see that now he can create a user now like object privileges we can also give abraham a right to extend the same rights to other people we can do that using with admin option this time it is not with grant option but it is done with admin option the moment we say with admin option it means abraham can give the same rights to other people the moment we give abraham some system privileges with grant with admin option and he grants the same rights to other people in case we revoke the rights from abraham other people will not be affected other people will not be affected here we are connected as administrators we can now grant the admin option so abraham now can grant the same rights to other people so when i connect as abraham abraham can give the same right to elias let's let's give let's abraham give the same right to elias connect as administrators again and we take away the rights from abraham it has been revoked and when we connect Abraham's account, he tries to create a user, a user account for Rahma. You can see that he no longer had the privilege. But when we connect as Elias, you can see Elias can still create a user. So we need to pay much attention whenever we are. Apart from the system privileges, we also have what we call the role privileges. With the role privileges, the privileges are assigned in form of a role. We get a group of privileges and we give them to a particular user these roles could be taken away from one user account and we give it to another user account roles help us really when we are managing databases we have a guild president they perform particular tasks they come they serve for a given time then they leave the office then another person comes what we do we create a role called guild president and then we look at the tasks that could be performed by a guild president then we get the rights that match this privilege that match these tasks and we give them to this role called guild president then after we get the guild president role and we assign it to anybody who is who to anybody who is in that office for a given time we are connecting as administrators as usual and we are creating we create roles so we need the guild president to be able to work with the employees table to do anything he wants to do with the employees table once that is done now we have a role with everything with all the privileges selecting updating deleting inserting anything they want to do with the employees table now after that we can get the same rights we get the after that we get the role and we assign it to somebody who is in that office maybe this time areas maybe this time marvin is the guild president so we can just get this role for guild president and we assign it to Marvin. Done. So Marvin has now been given this role of a guild president. So that is how we use roles. They help us in managing privileges. So in case Marvin is no longer the guild president, we just revoke guild president and then we give it to another person. Oracle comes with default roles. We have seen some of them. We haven't seen some of them. Default roles we have sysdba. Sysdba. We have seen. You have seen me so often using sysdba when I'm connecting as sys sys as connect sys as sysdba. Sysdba simply means this role has all the privileges of a database administrator. You have there you have the connect. You saw me granting connect to user account. Connect is also a role and inside connect there is a privilege called create session. 
so connect is a role with the create session privilege and you saw me doing that giving it to users then the last one we have resources there are so many default roles but these are these ones stand out resource is also a role with a lot of privileges that enable a user to create tables to the create users etc the moment we give you resource we have given you a right to create so many database objects if you want to give a privilege to all the users in the database those who are present and the future ones and the future users we we give that privilege to a user account called public we give that account we give that privilege to a user account called public in case we want uh, the privileges to be given to all the users finally we have what we call the principle of the least privileges and this one says that give minimum privileges to users just to enable them perform their tasks don't give users rights they don't need give users only rights they need to perform their tasks don't give them exaggerated rights otherwise don't give them exaggerated privileges you will face troubles with your database the moment you don't abide by the principle of the list privileges so it was a lengthy session and it was worth it thank you for watching and let's meet in the next section